It's something we've been covering frequently here at WRAL. Guns. They've been showing up at schools, malls, at sporting events, and it's not just that we're seeing them in more places, but they're also taking the lives of our children at a faster rate. I'm Dan Haggerty. And I'm Deborah Morgan. A new report out today from a state task force shows the number of children killed by guns in North Carolina rose 231% from 2012 to 2021. WRL's Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie spent the day looking into the report and this trend. Laura? Death statistics show that child deaths from firearms are on the rise across the United States, but they're rising much more quickly here than they are elsewhere. Child safety experts say state lawmakers need to uh, take steps to address this problem. According to the report, in 2021, children in North Carolina were 51% more likely to die from gun violence than children in the U.S. as a whole. That's part of a disturbing trend. As you can see on this chart, as recently as 2019, North Carolina was on par with the rest of the country for the percentage of kids who die from firearm violence. But in 2020 and 2021, the state rate increased quickly, more than doubling its 2019 rate. 93 children in North Carolina died of homicide in 2021, 62 died of suicide. If you look at the combined number of the 2021 suicides and homicides, Firearms were the lethal means used in more than 70% of those deaths. Kella Hatcher is executive director of the state's Child Fatality Task Force, a commission that studies how to prevent deaths among people under 18. She said the spike in children's firearm deaths started in 2020 when many people purchased guns in response to the pandemic and the civil unrest over the murder of George Floyd. 2021 Youth Risk Behavior Survey showed that 30% of North Carolina high school students reported it would take them less than an hour to get and be ready to fire a loaded gun without a parent or other adult's permission. The task force is asking state lawmakers to fund a statewide safe gun storage awareness campaign, including free gun locks. They're also asking for more funding for school nurses, psychiatrists, counselors, and social workers. North Carolina is extremely understaffed in those areas. They're not only the ones that can potentially identify kids who may be at risk um, or who are in crisis and work with them individually, but they're also the ones that can connect them to community resources. Now, the task force has been asking for this safe storage campaign for several years now, but lawmakers haven't passed one yet. Hatcher is hoping that this year will be different. But several safe storage bills have already been filed this session. Laura Leslie, live on Jones Street. Thank you, Laura.